Good afternoon, Will Sullivan here with Sullivan Auto Training here in Fredericksburg, Virginia. Um, I'm gonna be doing a quick walk around on both of these Nissans. Um, the one in the rear is the one with the saddle interior, the one that you reached out to me yesterday about, yesterday evening, um, that didn't have any pictures up at that time. So um, I go panel by panel. Uh, the vehicles that I purchased for my dealership, um, I hand select. Anything that, you, you know, I have two stores, uh, about 300 vehicles to 385 vehicles between the two stores. Uh, but every vehicle that I purchase, I hand select. Uh, we start with a exceptional vehicle here uh, and we do not try to buy anything that we have to bring back here and try to make a vehicle. <laughs> you know, um, that's just not the, that's not the way that I purchase uh, inventory for our lot. So um, I, accept, I expect as I do this walk around for, for both of these vehicles to be extremely nice. But if I do see any minor you know, scuffs or, or nicks or scratches, I'll make sure that I capture them uh, in the video. So starting with the uh, Nissan Armada Platinum with the black interior, we're gonna start here from the passenger side, just work ourselves around. So uh, first thing is a uh, driver fender. Driver fender looks excellent. I call this gapping. Gapping is the, the distance between any of the panels um, that is set, uh, you know, by the factory and it needs to be consistent all the way around. When cars are in accidents, one of the first thing I look at is inconsistent gapping uh, throughout the panels. Also, I've been doing this a long time. I can spot paintwork from a mile away, but um, this car so far looks excellent. So no scratches or dents uh, anywhere. Um, all of the gapping is correct on the bumper uh, and the hood. And this A-pillar doesn't show any signs of you know scratching or denting either. And you can't really see it in this video, but it's got a really pretty uh, fleck in the paint uh, when the sun hits it it just really pops so uh, this accent piece is in good shape no scratches cracks or dents and then this molding around the wheel well looks great so uh, wheel is in great condition no curb rash you can see anywhere uh, tires are about 80% uh, these are very good uh, 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 you know kind of a road tire that's on here so uh, going around to the front bumper no scratching or dents that I see anywhere. All of the plastic at the bottom uh, looks good the way it should. Small little nick right there, which uh, my finishing guys will hit that with some touch-up paint. Um, and uh, you'll never know it was there, but all the gapping looks good on this side and down the fender as well. And then no signs of hail damage, scratching, uh, or any paint uh, imperfections on the hood. Um, headlights are crystal clear these housings uh you know don't show any signs of uh needing to be buffed or wet sanded and no moisture or anything like that and then the chrome uh, on the bumper on the uh, grill molding here looks good so so far uh oh, and fog lights fog lights are in crystal clear condition as well passenger side fender looks great uh no scratches or dents uh, oh that was just something on on the car really really good this pillar looks awesome I don't see any cracks obviously to pass Virginia State inspection which you can see it has um, can't have any imperfections in your windshield so uh, this wheel is also in, in great excellent condition no scratches curb rash anything anywhere on it tires are 80 percent and then we go here to the driver's door thing looks really good uh, no door edge nicks. Uh, that's actually dirt. Yeah, so no door edge nicks anywhere. Looks really good. And then this pillar looks good. Small scuff in here. I don't know if you can even pick that up. It might actually wipe right away. So uh, rear door looks good. No scratching or denting anywhere on this door. And the running board looks excellent as well. Uh, small little nick right there as you can see but this back quarter panel looks good all the gapping looks the way that it should um, has the luggage rack with the cross members already on the top uh, no imperfections in this wheel tires all matching at about 80 percent and then finally moving around to the rear bumper gapping looks good that's just dirt i do not see any scratches 
anywhere here on the vehicle at all on the rear bumper. Tail light housings are nice and clean. No moisture, condensation, anything like that. So, some small little scuffs here. And now you got the passenger side quarter panel coming back around. So, the exterior of this vehicle is in excellent condition. I, I really, now that I'm back around to the front, I don't see a scratch or a dent worth really mentioning other than some small scuffs that, that I've talked about in the video anywhere on this vehicle. I'm really impressed uh, with the exterior of this vehicle. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pop the hood, uh, get a shot of the motor, and then work our way back inside. I do have the truck running, so I'm, it's hard to pick up the vehicles running, at least the audio from them, but look how clean this is. Sounds like a sewing machine, just like it should. Very clean motor. Had a shot of it. No rust anywhere. I'm, I think Shannon said you were, you were uh, messaging from the Northeast. I know you guys get a lot of weather. Uh, one of the benefits of buying down here in the South or close to the close to the South, but um, just no rust anywhere that I've seen anywhere on it. So uh, opening the door, my first impression is is uh, is wow. I mean, the way that this car looks in the pictures online is exactly the way that it looks in person.